is cooking today in the wide eyed way bacon, eggs, and tomatoes. A nice, quick, and easy meal. And I'm going to get loads of really good nutrients for, you know, a big bang for my buck, as it were. I'm Natasha Hodge. I'm here to help you get the best from your food and to cook in a budget conscious way. And so we can get health without having to um, spend too much money. So I wanted to talk to you, I'm not going to show you how to cook it, everybody knows how to cook um, bacon and eggs. I go for um, streaky because I like the flavour, but also I um, like the fat content. And it's all about getting enough to fill us up and so that we're, we're not looking around for other things, you know, um, sugary snacks and stuff. So streaky bacon. I need to talk to you about bacon actually, um, you know, because it's sort of controversial. Lots of people say, well, there's, there's nitrates in it, um, so it's not good for our health. Um, red meat, you know, we shouldn't be eating cured meats and stuff like that. The trouble is, when you look at research, and it's mostly done on um, studies of po what people report to um, researchers as to what they've eaten, they tend to leave out the stuff, you know, the, the bagel, the muffin. Yes, they start to concentrate on the red meat. And so that gets thrown under the bus and that's that's then becomes the problem. Whereas it's actually the things that are causing sugar to flow around in our bloodstream that's actually causing the problems. And so, um, you know, I, I have my um, blood checked once a year and I eat red meat a lot, as you've seen in my videos. And I have normal cholesterol. I have, you know, all, all my markers are excellent. So um, to me, red meat, absolutely no problem. The stuff that usually goes with it. You know, if you go for a burger, then it's the bun, it's the fries, it's the, you know, sweet sauces. They're the problems. But back to nitrates, actually, what's in bacon is something called nitrites. And yeah, you know, again, we used to just salt meat to cure it. But of course, we're, we're in, a, in the world of processed foods and they need to do it fast and they don't want you to have to soak the bacon to get the salt out and all those sorts of things. So they put a chemical nitrate in, which causes nitrites, but we can counteract those with the tomatoes, which have got vitamin C in. So the vitamin C is gonna take out the negative effects of the nitrites. So nitrates is what plants take up from the soil, um, and then the plant obviously has other vitamins in it to counteract those nitrates. So it's all a balancing act. Eating, you know, a full spectrum of foods then gives you all the, um, you know, counter effects of things that might be doing you harm. But if you're concentrating on really good quality stuff, then you're, you're doing the best for your body anyway. But with tomatoes, you do find that they have certain things in them called, um, God, I've completely forgotten what the word is, phytonutrients, which actually aren't something that we want to ingest. So plants have a defensive mechanism called lectins and they can cause us issues in our gut. So the best way to deal with that and just to get that vitamin C effect from the flesh is to um, literally quickly boil a kettle, pop these in a bowl, pour the water over and then you can just peel the skin off. You know, leave it for a couple of minutes, pour the water away and you can peel the skin off, de-seed them and just use the flesh. That's all you need to keep your gut um, uninflamed and not giving you problems, especially, I mean, if you've got IBS, then really watch those sorts of things. That's really important. 
I obviously talk a lot about the nutrition in eggs. They've got a complete amino acid profile. The best part of the nutrition is in the egg yolk. Um, but the egg white contains a lot of protein. So again, you're getting a lot of nutrition here for not a lot of money. Now, I'm really lucky. I live in the countryside. I have friends that um, have chickens. And so I can get really nice fresh eggs. But if you aren't that fortunate and you don't live in a place where you can get eggs that have been laid, you know, yesterday, then you're best to buy organic free range eggs from the supermarket. And they'll be nice and bright yellow. Um, and you can tell that they're, you know, they're good quality. And also, yeah, don't buy too many. Just use as, you know, buy them as close to um, when you're going to cook them as possible. And don't put them in the fridge because really they should be room temperature when you're going to go and cook them. Um, and it's up to you how you go. I'm going to scramble mine today. I'm going to have three eggs. I'm going to have the bacon. I'm actually going to have seven rashers of bacon. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, this is my main meal of the day. And then later on, I'll get my green leafy vegetables, probably in the form of, I've got leftover coleslaw from yesterday. And I'm going to have a can of tuna chucked into there and a salad on the side. So yeah, I'm going to have scrambled egg and the tomatoes are going to be cooked all in the bacon fat. Again, we're unlocking all that nutrition from the fat. And, and that's why eggs are so good, because they've got all that fat in the yolk. Um, so in total, this is going to cost me about £3.30. I'm good, that includes a low carb roll and butter, which I'm going to have on the side. Another quick tip, you know, when we talk about breakfast and having um, breakfast, you know, breakfast tends to, people think of it as the first, um, you know, an early meal. So, you know, as soon as you get up, you're gonna have breakfast before you go off to work. But breakfast is just break fast. So actually I'm breaking my fast with these traditional breakfast foods. Um, and again, our problems only came about when we started to eat more bread you know, croissants and cereals and stuff like that. But concentrate on these type of foods. Your breakfast is superb. Breaking fast, first food of the day. I've already used a lot of energy by this point. I'm hungry. This is really going to do the job. So, fried, poached, scrambled, it's up to you. However you like them, get eggs into your diet. They are so, so good for you. Or an omelette. You could create an omelette out of this of course as well and at some point or other I'll do an omelette um, while we're while we're on live because they are so easy so the cooking costs 10 minutes in the pan nine pence again this is a good quick cheap budget conscious meal and you are going to get the best for your body and of course that's all I want for you and um, you know, I want you to treat yourselves to a bigger slice of life. And please note, I'm not going to do a live on Monday. We've got the Queen's funeral. I will be paying my respects and watching that on the television. So I'm back on Tuesday. You have a great weekend. I'll see you on Tuesday. Take care of yourselves and properly nourish you. Bye bye now.